guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Ashley and today is gonna be an extreme clean and organize my kids room we are gonna be focusing on my girls room because I went in there the other day they lost the remote to their TV and they couldn't find it so I lifted up their mattress and when I saw underneath their mattress I could not believe how disgusting it was so I knew that I needed to deep clean their room again. So we will be tackling that in today's video and also getting tons of laundry done because I did just come back from our camping trip and I am still catching up on laundry. So I hope you guys are ready for some serious cleaning and laundry motivation. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right into this video. I knew I was going to be doing some serious cleaning and decluttering and organizing in their room. So the day before I had made them clean their room. So this is what cleaning their room looks like to them. As you guys can see, it's still pretty messy. Their closet is a complete disaster and they just throw things in the corners of the rooms. So at least for the most part it was picked up, but you guys should have seen this room before I made them clean it. It was awful. But the main reason why I wanted to clean it was, as you guys will see, under this mattress. It is so disgusting. I could not believe how much popcorn and toys had fallen under here. It was definitely time for me to clean under there. I haven't cleaned it since we put the bunk beds together two years ago. We've been in this house for two years and these bunk beds are so heavy. There's no way to move them. Look how disgusting that is I mean that is just filthy Love you then I can Ooh. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart So I really wanted to remove the planks but honestly, I can't get that drill bit in there and I do not want to unscrew all of that. So I'm just going to go in with my hand and get underneath there as best as possible and see how much we can clean up. The kids broke this climbing in it and trying to play in it. So we need to fix this drawer. Oh, no. It ended up working out really well not removing the planks. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get to everything, but thankfully those two bottom drawers do come out, so it made it really easy to get under there with the vacuum. The back was a little bit harder to get to with the vacuum, but thankfully I have my new cordless vacuum, so I was able to get in the cracks with that one for the back, and then I used my Shark for the front and I was able to get all in between there, but you guys, I was so sore this day. I had just went to the gym the day before and did leg day, so this was killing me. I ended up having to sit down because my legs were just hurting, bending over like that. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the house. have all of the big stuff picked up now it's just like crumbs this is all popcorn crumbs that is the only thing I ever let them eat in their room and this is why I don't let them eat in their room and I should probably not let them have popcorn anymore because it is filthy under here And of course, since I was going to be vacuuming, I just had to use my homemade carpet freshener to help freshen up down there because who knows how long that popcorn's been sitting on the carpet. So now I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum really well. And as I said, I had to use my cordless vacuum to get to the back. And this was honestly the first time I used the cordless vacuum for more heavier items to clean up. And you guys, I only want to be honest on my channel and I will never recommend something to you guys and not give you my honest truth. So the vacuum was able to pick up the pieces, but it definitely took quite a few times going over it. 
And of course, if I moved up to a higher level for the vacuum, it would pick it up better, but it would not get in the cracks of the bed. Unlike my shark, my shark picks up everything. There's just so much suction power. So I definitely would say if you are thinking about getting a cordless vacuum, this one does work really well. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but I wouldn't say it's a very powerful cordless vacuum. Once again, I've never owned a cordless vacuum before, so this is my first experience, but I would say there's not a lot of suction power when it comes to true messes and big cleanups. So this is perfect for if you want to clean up a little area like your closet or your bathroom and there's not too much to pick up, but if you have a big mess and a lot of spillage, say in the kitchen from your kids, then I would not recommend this vacuum because it just doesn't have that strong suction power unlike my shark. I will rave about my shark for forever. That thing is amazing. Just keep on fading in all these photos Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Might be easier just to let it go Cut the cable short and the problem so After tons of vacuuming, under the bed is finally clean and I just feel so much better knowing that it's all clean underneath the mattress. So we are just gonna go ahead and put the bed back together. I wasn't going to attempt to fix the shelf because the nails were like stripped out and honestly, I just didn't want to mess with it. So I'm gonna be leaving that shelf for my husband to fix. So I just went ahead and put all the pieces together and put it back under the bed for a later time. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make the bed. My kids are so bad about leaving little pieces of paper and trash all over the floor. So I'm just going through and picking up all of the big pieces of paper. That way, whenever I get all done, I can vacuum the room without sucking up anything big. But now I'm going to head up to the top bunk. Adrian is my stuff animal lover, as you guys know. So she had so many up there. I needed to put them back into the net because she honestly has no room to lay up here. Every time I wake her up for school, I can barely find her underneath all of her stuffed animals. So I'm just going to quickly put all of the smaller ones up into the net. I'll leave a few in her bed. And then the bigger ones I'm gonna put into the closet. That way she has more room to sleep up here. I got the bed cleared off. So she still has some of her animals over there, her blankie, her two fuzzy blankets. I'm gonna go ahead get those washed and folded back in the closet because she doesn't need that many blankets on this bed. And then I put as many as I could up there. Those big ones I'm gonna put in her closet. And then these are just all the toys that she had in her bed and trash. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am sweating already and I'm not even halfway done, but it feels so good to have underneath that bed clean because honestly, that was just grossing me out ever since I saw it. And I am so happy I can actually see Adrian's bed now. So I'm gonna quickly try to finish up this room before Ethan wakes up from his nap. But I have the fan on because I am sweating. I'm a sucker for your love.
all of these stuffed animals into the closet. I have been getting quite a few new subscribers, so I thought I would just take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Ashley. I am a stay-at-home mom to four kids. I have two girls and two boys, and their ages range from 10 all the way down to one. My three older kids are in school, and then my youngest, who's almost a year and a half, stays home with me. And I have been with my husband now for almost 15 years. We got together back when I was in high school. He was already in the Marines and we have been together ever since. But on my channel, I create tons of cleaning motivation content as well as some motherhood lifestyle. So if that is content that interests you, I really hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. I would absolutely love to have you here. I do upload every three days and often throw in some bonus videos, so definitely be sure to have that bell on so you know when I am posting next. And for all of my existing subscribers, I just want you guys to know how much I truly love and appreciate you guys. It really means so much to me, all the comments you guys leave. This community is honestly amazing, and I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys. So always feel free to drop a comment down below. I absolutely love reading them and connecting with you guys. It really does make my day. Thankfully, I was able to finish the girl's bedroom before he woke up. It was perfect timing. But now it is time for me to have one of my snacks, my go-to. You guys already know my Built Bars. This is the banana bread flavor. This one is really delicious. This is actually my last one. I'm waiting for my new order of Built to come in the mail. It should be here any day and I'm really excited to share those flavors with you guys. But as you guys know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I absolutely love these protein bars. They are the fudgiest protein bars that I have ever had before. Honestly, you guys, it is the best protein bar. And I am not just saying that because they sponsored me. I truly do love these bars. So if you guys haven't tried them before, definitely see if you can get your hands on them or head down to my description below. I do have a link and if you use my code Forbes15, you can save 15% off of your order. If you guys don't know much about Built, they are a low calorie, high protein, low fat, low carb, guilt-free protein bar that you can enjoy any time of the day. I love having these for breakfast or whenever I am in the middle of cleaning as a little pick-me-up snack. They are the perfect protein bar. They have so many different flavors to pick from, you guys. Honestly, they all sound so delicious, but I'm gonna quickly eat this bar and then we're gonna get some laundry going because I have so much laundry to get caught up on. This is the texture. Is it nummy? Yeah. it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. 
never ceases to amaze me how much laundry my family creates. We were gone out of town for three days and like I said, I had gotten most of the clothes washed before I left. I just had the girls basket that was overflowing before we left, but just from being gone for three days, I accumulated all of this laundry and so I am catching up. I am still catching up as I'm recording this voiceover. After I picked up all the clothes, it was time for me to go get the kids from school and do homework and then start dinner. And you guys, dinner turned out so amazing that I just had to share this recipe with you guys. So just really quickly, I will show you guys what I made for dinner. And if you guys are a fan of onions and mushrooms, then you definitely need to give this a try because it is to die for. I will have the recipe linked down below, but all you do is you saute two to three onions in some olive oil. Once they are all the way cooked down, you're gonna add some balsamic vinaigrette, and then you will remove them from the pan, and you will saute your mushrooms in some olive oil, then add in some spinach. While you are doing all of this, you are gonna boil some bow tie noodles. I did the veggie ones just to add a little bit more veggies into this meal. So after you're done sauteing your mushrooms and spinach, you are gonna add in one cup of heavy whipping cream and two thirds cup of Parmesan cheese. And then once that is nice and combined into a boil, you're gonna lower the temperature, add your onions, and then you're gonna mix it all together. And you guys, this was honestly so delicious. I ended up using purple onions just because my regular onions, as you guys saw, were rotten on the inside but this turned out so amazing. I cannot tell you how delicious this is. So if you are a fan of onions and mushrooms, definitely give this a try. Even my kids loved it. They picked out the mushrooms and onions, but they loved the flavor of the noodles. So definitely give this one a try. I honestly cannot tell you how good it was. You just have to try it. But now that dinner is all done, as you can see, I am in my comfy pajamas. It is getting late. I just wanted to go ahead and get one more load of laundry done before the end of the day. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. We are coming to the end of all of this cleaning and laundry motivation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload every three days and often throw in bonus videos, so be sure to have that bell on. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!